Hey guys, it's Slow Miss Dolls back with another video. Today I want you to come along with me to restore one of my dolls that I found thrifting. So I went thrifting today and I went to um, just a neighborhood arc and I wasn't anticipating on finding anything but then I found an Ever After High doll and I was like oh my god I don't have one of these and I've always wanted to collect an Ever After High doll but every time you end up picking up a doll from the ARC um, or any like thrift store or whatever you have in your town um, your dolls usually will be a little ragged and you got to give them some love and bring them back to life. So that's what we're going to be doing in this video. This is Holly O'Hare, I believe. Um, man, O'Hare is right. Yeah, she's got a lot of work to be done on this poor hair. I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but she has some orange pen on her face we're gonna have to go a little hard on her to get her back to looking decent this poor thing i mean at least some little girl seemed to have loved her <laughs> and had really fun with her for a very long time she did not come with her clothes or anything so we're just gonna have to dress her up and whatever clothes I got that fits her for now. Anyways, this will be my first revamp for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy. So first things first is we're going to try and brush her hair a little bit. Usually you want to use a metal bristled brush, but I have not invested in one of those yet. So fortunately we're gonna just have to do with what we got. This is her poor hair so far. It is all brushed out. I'm gonna clean out my brush. I'll be right back. Next I got dish soap um, and I'm going to fill my sink with some warm water, plop her in there and give her a scrub a scrub. Now we're going to shampoo and condition her hair. So this is how Holly's hair is currently looking so much better. We did scrub off that pen that was on her face in her dish soap bath. I'm going to give her a boil wash um, for good measure and call her good. Now there's two ways I do boil washes, but today we're going to do the dunk method instead of the pour method. I am going to be adding some conditioner to the water. We're gonna mix that in there. I'm gonna start waiting for it to boil a little bit. As we're waiting for the water to boil, I just wanted to show you guys that she has this short bit right here and a huge knot that won't come out. So what I'm gonna do is take my scissors and cut it right up to her head. It was threaded in with this hair right here, so it doesn't look like I had even cut it. And now that short spot is now gone, along with that huge knot. Now it does look like she has some thinning in her hair, but I mean, she looks like she got played with a lot. Looks kind of old, so it's kind of usual. For thinning to take place. Okay, our water is boiling, so you just want to do quick 
dunks. All right, her hair cooled down, so we're gonna give her one last brush. Look how straight that is now. Smooth, shiny. Gonna make sure she doesn't have any flyaways. And looks pretty good. We don't need to cut anything. Just gonna towel dry her hair real quick. Sometimes you can just let them sit overnight if you want their hair straight. But since we're doing a whole dressing and all of that, we're just gonna do a towel dry. Holly usually comes with a braid underneath, um, which I thought was so cute. So we're gonna give her just a little peekaboo braid. Got my small little hair ties. Um, and I'm just gonna go with a white one. I ran out of clear, so. How cute. So pretty. Alright guys, for this next part, you're literally just going to be on my floor. Because I'm going to have to dump out a bunch of doll clothes and go through them. These are my rainbow high clothes. I'm going to set these off to the side because they might have shoes that might fit her in there. Poly pocket clothes can go away. We'll keep out the sunglasses, might spice her up. Got some LOL clothing in here. Uh, I don't really think I will use anything in here, so I'm gonna set it off to the side that we're not using. This is random doll clothes, so we will set this with our maybe pile to go through. Bags, maybe I wanna give her a bag, so I'll set it over here. Earrings, I'm definitely going to want to give her earrings, so we'll set them over here. Um, hats, I don't foresee her wearing a hat, so I am going to put that away. Mermaids, jackets, and clothes and stuff. Um, I'm going to end up putting those away. This is like random accessory stuff, so I'm going to set that off to the side and maybe use. This is brat stuff. Um, I don't think she'll be able to use any of this stuff. Maybe her the shirts. So I guess I'll set that off to the side. Monster high clothes are probably our best bet. I don't have very many of them, but we'll set those off to the side as movies to use. And then this is LOL's price stuff, so it doesn't mean anything to us. I'm going to start off with looking at Monster High clothes. So Monster High shoes definitely fit. Um, so we'll keep that in mind. I don't necessarily want to go with like a blue look though. So I'm probably going to outrule like all these blues. But I don't know. Maybe it might be cute. We'll just set those off to the side. So I got this gold look going on that I think I kind of like, but we're going to try on some other looks before we decide if this is the final outfit. I'm looking through brats right now. Um, I'm also going to keep this off to the side. I haven't really tried it with anything, but... Hmm. I wonder if this fits. Let's try this skirt on. No, it does not. So Brad's bottoms are out. I don't really got any cute tops that I think I would want her to wear. Maybe we could try this rainbow one or this yellow one. So let's see what that looks like. I don't hate it. I actually really like this top. Um, So that's a maybe. I think my problem is going to be finding bottoms for her. I don't have much variety of bottoms I feel like. Mm, not feeling that shirt on her. For possible other bottoms I think we're gonna have to see if any random pieces of clothing that I have might fit her. Well I had to change the direction we were filming in. You guys were over here but now you're on my other side. So you're mirror imaged around. 
feel like an ever after high doll would wear something like this but i think it would be too big and i don't know if i really want to go for an ever after high look i want it to maybe be more modern or something i don't know yeah this dress is way too big on her nope okay we need to find bottoms like options for bottoms this looks like it might be small enough so it does fit I'm not a huge fan of it um so probably gonna have to say no to that but keep it in mind that it's an option we don't got very many pants options here so i'm gonna have to deal with something i'm gonna try this dress on her i think it's still a tad too big but this is that it's actually kind of cute i want to see if i can do something with this we might just totally scratch everything we just did, but let's see if we can do something about this. I'm just doing this out of curiosity, but I found this skirt. I was like, oh, maybe another layer. I probably am going to hate it so bad, but I'm just curious. You know, sometimes we play with our dolls. Who knows? Something might surprise us. Honestly, it's kind of interesting and not too much in a bad way. But anyways, not finding too much else. Oh, here's like a little purple fuzzy jacket that might look good with this. I'm not feeling it. Okay, we're totally going to re-strategize. I just had an idea. So give me a second and let's see what happens. Mm, idea, but I don't think I like the purple skirt on her. This one's hard, guys. I really wish this wasn't so big on her. Because I feel like floral in some pink would look so good with her because of her pink eyeshadow and stuff. Man, that sucks. This is technically a shirt, but I thought maybe it'd look cute as a jacket. Oh, wait. It might stick to the other material. Hold up. This could be something. I think this is a look. I need to find her some shoes. We are on the hunt for shoes, so we're going to take out our Rainbow High stuff. I'm hoping Rainbow High will fit. These would be perfect. And it gives the Ever After High look. Oh no, they kind of look big. I wonder if we could just throw her in some boots and you wouldn't re really be able to tell the gapping, I would think. Yeah, no. Okay, well... Maybe we have to scrap this. Urgh. All right, I finally did it, guys. I found her core outfit. After a bunch of back and forths and reconsidering my options, I just kind of sucked it up and said, you know what? We want her to look feminine. We want her to look pretty. As much as you didn't want her in that blue, just see. Humor yourself. So I did, and... I actually really enjoy it and I found this emerald green scarf and it matches her eyes beautifully. The last thing we're going to do is go through our accessories and see if there's any accessories we want to throw on her just to finish her up. Alright guys, we are back. We just finished adding some accessories to her and after a lot of love and patience, we finally got to restore Miss Holly and restyle her to her full potential. I think head to toe, she looks amazing. So much more put together and clean and just happy. Look at that hair. We saved that hair, guys. Wow. How beautiful. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this restoration video, and I hope to see you guys next time. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. Click that notification bell to get notified every time I post a new video. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Love you all. Bye.